Hi everybody, so I'm about to upload a YouTube video, so I figured I might as well walk you through how I upload a YouTube video. I usually do this from my computer because I usually use Zoom to record my uh, most of my videos. Um, um, yeah, and even if I use my phone to record my, my portrait mode videos, I, I my phone uploads it to Google Photos and then I download it on my computer from Google Photos to my computer and I upload it anyway. So I'm about to, let me just go ahead and show you how I upload a YouTube video. So first thing I do is I go to youtube.com slash upload. Did you know that? Okay, youtube.com slash, youtube slash upload. There you go. And this automatically brings you into your account. Now you might want to check, you know, look, look at your, yourself in the top right. If you're not sure, you can exit out just to make sure you're in the right place. Um, the right account anyway. You've, you might have various accounts. You might need to switch accounts, but make sure it's the correct one. And you can also just click create from YouTube Studio. That's the same thing, youtube.com slash upload or click create. Okay, I'm just going to click create and then click upload video. This is, this is, this is where youtube.com slash upload brings us. All right, let's go to select files. And I'm going to select the one that I, I just made. Uh, it's this one. Double click. Now, People are going to say, well, George, you're supposed to name the video file because somehow that helps. No, that, <laughs> over the years, like I said, I've uploaded almost 2,000 videos to YouTube and I have not noticed a single lick of difference with the file name uh, versus non-file name. Uh, the, the video title obviously is extremely important, but the file name itself th has not mattered for visibility uh, as far as I can tell. So anyway, let's, uh, let's go. Uh, the, the, the title obviously is very important. I talk about titling and descriptions in other segments. I just wanted to walk you through the rest of the typical uh, uploading settings. So I'm just going to quickly uh, name this right now. I'm going to change it later, but um, I'm going to say um, create urgently. <laughs> this, this is literally what I, my, my, um, my video is about today. So, and then you'll notice that the thumbnail is still uh, processing. And what I often do, if I'm going to select one of the thumbnails, I'll often go through the rest of the process first and then later come back to details to choose a thumbnail. In this case, I actually created a thumbnail image. So I'm going to click on Upload uh, Thumbnail and then I'm going to select the, uh, this one here that I already created. And there it is. But wow, it's, it's pretty fast that they, they already gave me a thumbnail uh, that I can choose. But anyway, I, I uploaded it. If for some reason you want a different one, you can always click on the three dots there and click change or I don't know why you would download it because you upload it yourself. But anyway, maybe in the future when you come back and it's like, oh, wow, I want that image again. But um, anyway, so I've done that. Again, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll skip the titling uh, instructions right now and, and description instructions. These were automatically put in because of my basic info settings on my channel settings. Basic info, you can put in what, um, what the description is. And, and then, of course, I can go in and edit what I want on top of the description, uh, on top of that basic template info. I can delete the template info if I want to, or I can put something below it. Anyway, it's, it's, all, it's all optional. Uh, I'm just for now going to uh, I'll do, I'll deal with that later. All right, so playlists. This is important as well. I'll probably do a separate segment about playlists, but I do try to put my videos into playlists where I can, you know, where I can think of, oh, that's a relevant one. So uh, this one is definitely uh, about creating. And I, I have named my playlist with my main playlist. I have added GK in the front, so it makes it makes it easy for me to type and find it again because I have so many playlists. So. Um, consistent creating. I'm just going to add that one. You can do multiple playlists. Uh, a video can go on multiple playlists if, if you want it to, but I'm just going to, for this case, I'm going to just add one. Okay. <clears throat> no, it's not made for kids. We talked about that in a different video, but made for kids means it goes through additional legal requirements so that it's like, you know, legally uh, viewable to kids. We are making videos for adults, not adult entertainment, <laughs> right? But well, maybe some of you, I don't know. But no, anyway, please do not do Yes Made for Kids unless you want the additional compliance issues that come with that. Um, so no, it's not made for kids unless, you're, you, know, unless you are. But uh, no, it's not made for kids, most of us. Uh, age restriction, again, don't, don't, don't do that. Um, I'm going to move myself over to the middle here or to the right, I guess. Uh, well, over here. Oh, whatever. Okay. Um, I'll move it my, myself over here for now. And then click Show More. Okay, I'm going to do that. I'm going to scroll down. 
My video contains paid promotion. Uh, okay, so this is a tricky one. Um, you know what? I, I'm, I'm not going to talk about that right now. I'm going to skip that, do that in a separate video, but I usually don't keep it checked. Allow automatic chapters. I usually keep it checked. I know there are, you know, there's advice out there that don't, don't, don't make it automatic. They, they, they do a poor job of it, but I don't know. I mean, AI is going to get better. At, I think it's, it does, it doesn't do as good of a job as if you put in chapters yourself, but I'm, I always keep it checked for now. I can always remove it later if I want to make my own chapters. So I keep it checked in case, in case it ends up being pretty good in case they end up doing it. I always uncheck automatic places unless I literally am making a video where I'm traveling somewhere and I, I don't mind YouTube automatically tagging the restaurant I'm in front of or the, the landmark I'm in front of, but most of us usually just make, make videos in our neighborhood, right, or in our home. We don't want YouTube to tag certain neighborhood landmarks or whatever, so uncheck that because uh, I have had weird taggings on my thing based on automatic places, and it was really weird. It was featuring some other YouTube video, uh, vi YouTube channel that had a place on Google Maps or whatever. Anyway, um, automatic concepts, I, I keep that checked. It's still an experimental thing, but um, and some people will complain that, oh, YouTube doesn't really understand concepts. And anyway, I'm keeping it checked for now because I'm interested in what happens. Tags do not matter anymore. I'm going to skip this for now, um, except for if YouTube frequently in, in the subtitles misspells a word that you say or a name that you say, like George Cow, for example, those do C-O-W. So I always put George Cow in there as a tag. It, this is also set in the channel settings area. Anyway, I'll skip that for now. But it does not matter for visibility. It's really more for like the subtitle spelling correctly. Anyway, let me keep going. Language and captions. Uh, these things I usually keep default, uh, so just leave it at that. I think I made a video about the ch those channel settings elsewhere. These, this all comes from the channel defaults. Um, recording date and location, I usually keep this blank. It doesn't really matter unless, yeah, I don't, anyway, I'm going to skip this for now. It, it really doesn't matter uh, in my experience. License distribution, I usually keep it on Creative Commons. Um, I recommend that because it, it allows other people to use your videos. I, I hope you're okay with that. If other people want to feature a clip of your video, would you be okay with that? If you are, keep it at Creative Commons. If you, for some reason, aren't, then you got to make it standard YouTube license. But I, I, I prefer Creative Commons. So allow embedding. I don't see why not. If someone wants to embed my video on their channel or on their website, oh, great, wonderful, right? Um, the only case, yeah, I, I'm just going to skip this for now. I think by default, it's fine. Publish, okay, this is important. Publish the subscriptions feed and notify subscribers. If this is one of my main videos that I want, that I think is relevant for most of my subscribers, I keep it checked. Sometimes I make YouTube videos that I want to be found by search, but I think most of my subscribers probably, I don't care that they see it. For example, most, most of my videos are about authentic business, authentic marketing. Sometimes I make tech tutorials that I don't really want to notify my whole subscriber base hey here's a tech tutorial it's not relevant to my overall topic or i often uh, i've been uploading videos about spiritual growth onto my youtube channel i probably should do a separate youtube channel that's a separate topic we can talk about it's a different segment but i've been uploading to my same youtube channel so I, I i uncheck it when it's a tech tutorial or a spiritual video that is not relevant to most of my subscribers not relevant to my business that i'm building I will uncheck that um, so that they don't get a notification. They might still see it in the home feed. They can watch it if they're like a, like a big fan. They can watch my other videos, but most of them won't be bothered by this. But if it's a main video like this one where it's related to my business, related to the topics that are related to my business, I'm not selling anything in this video. But anyway, I, I do want most of my subscribers to know, to be notified that this exists if they're, if they're getting notifications on my channel. Shorts remixing. I don't see why not. It, uh, basically, allowing other people to create short videos that are that take clips of your video. I mean, gosh, great! <laughs> if they, they want if they if they, li if they like my my stuff enough. Anyway, I, I say allow. Category I have found um, most of us are probably just people and blogs. Honestly, um, you can try anything else, but you can basically go to some of these. Uh, anyway, I'm I'm going to skip this. This is going to get too complicated. Basically, it doesn't matter that much. It doesn't. I, I haven't noticed any difference when I change the category. So I'm gonna say just keep people and blogs. Most of us are 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 fit in that category just just fine. 
Comments and ratings on. I don't see why not unless someone is a politician or they're really popular um, and they get trolls or whatever. Comment moderation. We'll, we'll skip this. This is for most of us just on and, and none is just fine. Okay, it's, it's better that way. Sort by top, it's just fine. Show how many viewers, just fine. Uh, skip the fundraising thing. That's, that's fine. Let's move on to the uh, next. Let's click next here. Okay, monetization. I usually select off. Uh, when I select on is after the fact, if my video is going viral, it's getting thousands of views or tens of thousands of views, I'll come back and, and cut, I'll come back to this, the settings of the, the video and I'll turn on monetization because then I'll actually start to make money. But before your video gets to like tens, tens of thousands of views, the monetization is a few dollars. It's like, is it really worth like bothering your, your viewer with ads for a few dollars? No. So it's like once it gets tens of thousands of views or definitely hundreds of thousands of views, you want to turn on monetization because now you're going to be earning hundreds of dollars for that video. So I would say off. Don't bother your, your viewers with ads for most of your videos probably. Let's click next. All right. Now, uh, this is also helpful. Um, skip subtitles for now because YouTube has its own subtitle generation that takes about half an hour at least. Sometimes it takes several hours before they can generate. It's all done automatically in the background. You don't have to do anything, okay? Music license, again, most of us aren't playing music in our videos. If you are, you need to add music license because otherwise you'll get, your video will get taken down. Uh, skip the tag products for now. We'll talk about that in some other, in some other segment if that's, if that's relevant for some of you. End screen, I think is important. Add cards can be important. Um, I will talk about these in separate videos because that's going to take too long. I'm just going to show you how I usually upload. Um, yeah, I'll, again, I'll address this in a separate video. But for me, it's easy because I've done end screen before. If you've done an end screen before that you want to just keep the same for all your videos, then you can click import from video and, and then you got to click it again. And I've already done videos like this. So for my previous video, it's just similar to this has end screens that I like. Anyway, I will talk about end screen in a separate segment. I just want to show you this is what I do when I upload a video. I just import it from a previous one where I have an end screen. I click save and then uh, there it is. It's added. I'm going to click next and the checks. Basically, this is about music licensing. It doesn't matter for most of us. Uh, click next and then visibility. Uh, this is obviously important because it starts off as unlisted, which means that nobody will find your video unless you only the people you send the link to will find your video. That's not uh, that's not good for your visibility, obviously. So setting it public means it's instantly on YouTube now. Now, I usually schedule my videos because I have a rhythm of publishing my YouTube videos. That's something we could talk about separately if you want to. But I, I'm going to schedule this for Monday. So I'm just going to click on Monday. And yes, some people say, oh, you got to figure out, you know, use your analytics to see when your viewers are typically viewing and set it to the right time. I don't know. I honestly don't think that matters as much as some <laughs> YouTube advisors are saying because how many times have you seen YouTube videos uh, suggested to you that were days ago or even years ago? Frequently, frequently. So it's not as big of a deal as they, they make it out to be. I'm just going to leave it alone uh, because the thing is, when it's set for that day, you want, because the, that day is going to be the date of the video from now on. It was published on January 22nd. So I want the entire day to have the chance for any of my viewers to, to see it. So the January 22nd day will be the longest possible day I want for the viewership to be possible. So anyway, I, I mean, whatever. So set this premiere. We're going to talk about this in a separate thing. I don't usually do that. I think it's kind of a little bit cheesy, except for major events. Anyway, I'm gonna. I usually don't keep that checked. And then go ahead and I'm gonna click schedule. For you, if you if you if you chose um, if you chose whoops, uh, if you chose public, it will say publish. If you choose schedule, it will say schedule, just like it says. But it's basically getting your video onto YouTube at the right time or instantly, whichever you want. Okay, schedule. There it is. Congratulations. Uh, you can now click on copy video link to share it. If you're publishing a video right now on YouTube instead of scheduling it, it's probably a good idea to share it with a couple supporters. For example, our YouTube course uh, Facebook group. Um, and who knows? A couple people might view it, 
click like on it, etc. If you have a couple of supporters that you like to you know to celebrate with and send your videos, hey, I would love your support. Watch the video, click like if you do. Uh, you know any feedback, you know that kind of thing. If it's instantly published, of course, mine is not instantly published. I uploaded it, but it's it's not published till January twenty second, as it says here. So I'm not going to share it right now. So I'm going to just click close for now. And then this will show up in your YouTube studio. And under here, it just says it's scheduled here and monetization is off, et cetera, et cetera. Obviously, zero views yet because it hasn't been published. But in the future, I can come back and edit this, uh, the settings if I want to. So super long video. I hope this was helpful, though. And if you have any questions, comment below. I probably have some other segment later in the course about your questions. But feel free to ask below. Thanks.